Hey guy, I'm gonna walk through this with you. Um, what I try to do all the time is to leave my cords down as long as I can, so it's like a game. And um, so I try to find cords where I have stuff in that are in the cords that I work with really close. And since this is harp music, if you'll notice, every three every three bars, every three frets, you have a whole scale to work with. So. If you pick the right chords, instead of playing this E minor down down here, three one one. If you play the five four three E minor, then you can you got the whole thing right there, and you don't have to go up and down the fretboard. So I started with the um, seven five, and instead of using two fingers, I'm going to come on down with my thumb and grab the four three two. And if you do the whole chord. I try to keep my chords, if I can, in like shapes if it's going to be a fast song so I can move faster. So what I'm going to do then, all I have to do for the next measure is just jerk it up one fret. So I started with... I've already changed something because I played through it a minute ago and that five on the middle string you really need to do a two and and my crazy reasoning for that is if you take your thumb off of here and go over here then you got to move your thumb back to move up to seven and that just takes too much time if you're trying to get any speed up so I've elected to go down to the two on the melody string so it would be Five three five three three four three two, and that I just I concentrate on my middle finger on this middle string, and I just jerk that up to seven five. So everything I do revolves around chords. I keep my middle finger on the middle string, and my middle finger is my guide. And when I have to move a chord, if I get the middle number where it needs to be, then everything I need is there, which I know is strange to most people. But, um, I didn't used to play this way. I'm trying to get this on the video where you can see it good, but the lighting's not real good. Okay, so let me start at the beginning again. And we have a four slant. Five slant. And then a five C shape. Reach down, get the two, slide up. Sorry, I lost my place. And then I'm gonna, I've already got two fingers down, so I just slide that to that bar three. So that next measure is just playing around on, on these three frets. So then the next part, we end up down here, so that's going to be a reach, and what I usually do, if there's going to be a dead spot, I hate dead spots, so what I'll do is, I'll just start reaching and then kind of pop that so I have a little under undercurrent, just pop my finger off the two. Up here, I changed that chord from his. He had an eight seven eight, and I like a slant C shape to a slant to a C shape. That's where I put the B minor in instead of the other chord, the D. And then the next chord, if I can see it, is is an E minor.
think I left out a measure, maybe. Hold on. No, that's right. And then up here, the first time I strum those chords, this time I'm doing a pinch pluck. But it's the same movement, so once you get the movement, then... Trying to play from memory. Well. Anyway, so that wasn't perfect, but it kind of gives you an idea of, of what I look for. So, anyway. Enjoy your night. Enjoy the tap. Nice working with you. Hope, hope to talk to you sometime, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.